اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Moderated Mediation in IBM SPSS AMOS In this session, I'm going to discuss how to perform moderated mediation analysis in SPSS AMOS. Now, before we go into the detail as to how to perform moderated mediation in SPSS AMOS, you should have a clear idea as to what moderation is, what mediation is, and how both are performed in AMOS. Now, there are lectures that have been previously delivered on the channel on moderation and mediation using AMOS. The links for both of them will be shared in the description. You are strongly recommended to watch both of the sessions before you take on the moderated mediation analysis. In a more complex model, you may have a mediation model that also includes a moderator on one of the indirect paths. Now, in a complex model, you may have one moderator that is affecting the indirect path from the IV to the DV. Not only you are trying to determine if there is mediation, that is, there is an indirect effect of X on Z through maybe another variable M, but you are also trying to see if the moderator is changing the strength of indirect effect. And you would like to see whether a higher level of the moderator or the lower of level of the moderator changes the strength of indirect effect. Whether the indirect effect is higher at a higher level of the moderator or is it lower at the lower level of moderator or vice versa. The easiest way to tackle this issue is to use estimates function in AMOS outlined in the mediation tutorial. Now in this case we are going to use the estimates function. This has been discussed previously in the mediation tutorial that I was referring to earlier. The link will be shared in the description. Let's look at our moderation example again. Only now we are going to examine if the moderator is influencing the indirect effect. Our simple mediation test will be if organizational commitment leads to collaborative culture, which actually leads to organizational performance. Our moderator will be construct of role ambiguity, which negatively influences the relationship from organizational commitment to collaborative culture. Now, this is the graphical representation of the relationships that we want to assess. Here, organizational commitment is affecting organizational performance through collaborative culture, whereas role ambiguity is moderating this relationship from organizational commitment to collaborative culture. Now, my interest is, I want to find out whether this moderator here, it either strengthens or weakens this indirect effect. In AMOS, we drag our constructs and include the path for mediation. We also include the moderator and interaction term in the model. Now, again, the process of moderation will remain the same. We will have to mean center our exogenous variables that is our independent variable and our moderator variable and then create an interaction term out of the centered variables. Again, the link on moderation and how to center the variables has been provided in the description. Note the interaction term needs to be created by mean centered variables as outlined in our moderation examples presented earlier. After we have drawn the model, we label all the parameters this will be necessary when we start using the estimates function in AMOS. Now we have to label these parameters. How to do this? We are going to look into this. And this has been discussed in detail in our mediation example earlier. The next step is we defined our estimate. That is we create a formula. In the estimates function, we are going to examine the indirect effects at the different levels of the moderator. So we create different estimates to, to identify or examine the indirect effects at different level of the moderator. That is when the role ambiguity is high and when the role ambiguity is low. How does the indirect effects shape up? In AMOS, we are going to select define new estimates function to do this. The indirect effect is the product of A and B path. Initially, we are going to tell AMOS to calculate the labeled parameter A path 
by the B path, this is going to determine the indirect effect. Now, the first step is to determine your indirect effect, that is the path from your IV to your DV through your mediator. And this is simply by the multiplication of A path and B path. And where is your A path and B path? Here is your IV, here is your MV, here is your DV. Now, this is your moderator, this is the interaction. This is your A path, this is your B path. The multiplication of A path with the B path will give you the indirect effect. Now, once we know the indirect effect, the next step is we probe the indirect effect to determine how the moderator influences the indirect effect at different levels. So the first step, just get the indirect effect. The second step is probing the indirect effect through the moderator. Now in the estimates function, let's label these as one stand below, that is low level of moderator, one stand above, that is high level of moderator. Now what formula do we need to create? We will be discussing that formula in just a moment, but for now, remember, we will need the standard deviation of your moderator. In this case, the moderator is rule ambiguity and the standard deviation is 1.36595. To probe the moderator at different levels, we initially take the path from the interaction term to the mediator and multiply it by the standard deviation of the moderator. Now, how do we probe the indirect effect at different level? Now, what we need to do is we need this formula here. Now, this is at higher level of the moderator, that is high role ambiguity, that is the positive sign here. Now, this is for high role ambiguity. Just remember the formula for moderated mediation. This is your A path, that is your IV to MV. This is your E path, that is your moderating effect, multiplied by the standard deviation of your moderator and multiplied by the B path. And this B path is from mediating to dependent variable. Now look at this here. We need to just create one simple estimate. And for the standard below, that is your low role ambiguity, you just need to simply multiply it by the minus sign. So this is low role ambiguity. This is high role ambiguity. Role ambiguity is your moderator. And this is the simple formula to assess whether or not the indirect effect is moderated at different level of the moderator. That is your moderated mediation. You simply add the E path. That is your interaction effect multiplied by the negative sign for low role ambiguity, that is low moderator, and then add it to your A path and then multiply it with your B path. That is for low because there is a minus sign here. And for above, just no minus sign, simple multiplication of the interaction effect with the standard deviation of the moderator. Now, with the moderated mediation, the formula is little different than we had in simple interaction. There, for low level of moderator, we added the standard deviation. And for high level of moderator, we subtracted the standard deviation. Now, in this case, for low level, we are adding the negative sign. And for high level, we are just having the positive standard deviation. We are not taking the standard deviation from moderator, but from the interaction. This is the reason that for high, this is positive and for low, this is negative. Look at this. For low, this is negative. For high, this is positive. Why? Because we are not taking the standard deviation from the moderator. We are taking it from the moderating effect. The E path in this formula is your interaction term. Now, in this instance, to prove the interaction, you will multiply the positive of the standard deviation and then prove for low value, you will multiply the negative of the standard deviation. Now, how do we do this in AMOS? I know it gets a little confusing, but things are pretty confusing when you are using moderated mediation. Let's go back to AMOS and estimating indirect effect. So right click, let's edit our estimate. Now I've already created the estimate. This is my indirect effect. That is my mediating effect, whether or not there is mediation. Now this is for low level of the moderator and this is for high level of the moderator. Look at this, no negative sign here, but for low level, there is a negative sign. Now what happens is this will help us estimate whether or not the indirect effect is moderated by low or high level of the moderator.
now you have to name these effects as well you just double click on them and go to parameters and give the name in regression weight a underscore path and i've named all the other paths as well now another important thing is analysis properties make sure you go to output and select indirect direct and total effects and bootstrap perform 5000 bootstrap samples with 95 percent confidence interval now that we have done and we have identified the high and low values now let's run our model and start interpreting the results let's run it and let's go to output and here is our output now go to estimates and look at this these paths are significant your direct effect your b path is significant a path is significant as we know the mediating results are in user defined estimates here this is your indirect effect a multiplied by b that is simply multiply your a path 0 0.590 to b path 0 0.292 now let's go to user defined estimates this is again a multiplied by b path this is your estimate let's say if it's significant yes your indirect effect is significant now moving on let's interpret the results now i'm going to move to and fro between this presentation and this output here just to make things a bit more detailed and easy to understand now we from the results we can see that okay your a path and b path are significant and your c path was also significant interpretation of estimates now this information here is a good information we know the indirect effect and we know that at higher level of moderator this indirect effect is significant we know at the lower level of moderator it is significant but we still do not know about the indirect effect or how the moderator influences the indirect effect for that under estimates link let's go to scalars option and then user defined estimates now scalars user defined estimates and then select bias corrected percentile method now this will initially give us the indirect effect that is your significant indirect effect now if you select bias corrected here as you can see in the figure 0.172 that is your indirect effect is significant that is the influence of organizational commitment on organizational performance is through the mediator that is collaborative culture you will also see the indirect effects here are your indirect effects at one standard deviation below or high when you've got low moderator how is your indirect effect that is when you there is low role ambiguity how is your indirect effect it is significant what if it's high role ambiguity the relationship or the indirect effect is still significant now in both cases either the role ambiguity is low either the role ambiguity is high your indirect effect is still significant moderating the indirect effect the last test we need to assess now that we know that the indirect effect is significant we know that at higher level of the moderator the indirect effect is significant or insignificant in this case it was significant we know what happened to low level of the moderator that is whether or not the indirect effect was significant or not now we know this through this particular table here but there's more to come we saw earlier that the interaction was insignificant that is your e path your moderating variable was insignificant now we need to assess if the indirect effect is being moderated this is assessed by index of moderated mediation we are not just interested in the indirect effect or whether or not the moderating variable or that at high level of moderator there is interaction effect or at the low level there is interaction effect we are interested in whether or not the indirect effect is being moderated that is at high level there is a different indirect effect and at low level there is a different indirect effect to do so we need an index of moderated mediation value now this value is calculated by getting the product of interaction that is your e path multiplied by your b path so if we go back to our model here in order to get the index you need to multiply this path here this interaction path with your b path here now if you've got multiple 
mediators and multiple moderated mediation relationship it's pretty easy you just have to multiply your e path that is your interaction effect with the b path the other path in the mediation relationship this analysis examines if the slope is significantly different than zero which indicates the moderation mediation is taking place now is it different than zero since we only have one mediator amos will give us this information in the indirect effects output along with the bootstrap analysis to determine if index of moderated mediation is significant but if you have got multiple mediators maybe multiple moderating mediation paths you need to create estimates where you multiply your interaction effect with the b path in this case your indirect effect is minus 0.005 now this is from estimates is this significant if this is significant you can say yes there is moderated mediation but how do we know if it's significant in the estimates link you need to go to matrices here and go to indirect effects and you will see this value now in order to find out whether that value of minus 0.005 is significant which obviously is very very low so it was bound to be insignificant but we have to check so we go to indirect effects and then bias corrected percentile method and look at this here the indirect effect from the interaction term to organizational performance now in this case we only had one single mediator so one single path now in this case have a look this effect is insignificant that is there is no moderated mediation now if you have more than one mediator more than one path obviously you will have other details as well the results give us lower and upper bound confidence interval as well and we see that the p value is insignificant and this shows that there is no moderated mediation present we can conclude the indirect effect is not moderated by role ambiguity note that we do not need the index of moderated mediation for high or low level of estimates our primary concern is that of testing the index of moderated mediation that is original mean value in the indirect test with the index of moderated mediation we used the amos different indirect effects results because there was only one path we only had one mediator and that is one dependent variable there was only one path if you have more than one mediator and maybe more than one moderated mediation analysis to be performed you need to create your own index of moderated mediation and that you can do by simply multiplying your interaction path with the b path that is from the mediator to your dependent variable and then create your own user defined estimate that will give you the significance of that path as well as we normally get with all the other paths now in that situation you will denote what specific relationships you want to isolate in the bigger model in our example the estimates formula for the index of moderated mediation would have been e path multiply by b path now here is how you report your moderated mediation so you first mention your direct relationships your interaction term your unstandardized coefficients your t value and then your moderated indirect relationship obviously then organizational commitment collaborative culture that is your organizational performance is your indirect relationship and then low level of role ambiguity high level of role ambiguity and index of moderated mediation now these two are available in the estimates and this here was available in the indirect effects and further you get these details look at this indirect effects bias corrected percentile method and you get the significance value similarly you can get the lower and upper bound confidence interval here here look at this 0.013 minus 0.028 there is a zero in between so it is insignificant and the beta is 0.005 with a negative sign so this is how you can report all these results for your moderated mediation analysis using emos I hope to make another video with a more complex moderated mediation model in which I will have two moderated mediation paths. I hope this session would not have been too much confusing and I hope now you know how to perform moderated mediation using Emos. Thank you very much.